Hello, and welcome to the second round of mini bike modifications. In this part, we'll be removing the governor, modifying the throttle cable for easier use, and shaving the head for more compression. First up is we're gonna drain the Take those plastic covers off, and we're gonna start to uh, drain the uh, oil out of the engine. To remove the governor. To remove the governor. That's right. Make it go fast. Again, if you haven't seen the other video where we do the exhaust and the intake, I checked that out because Look at that awesome header. Let's see Lucy righty tidy. Yep. So we've taken off this plastic cover to reveal the centrifugal clutch and chain that goes to the big sprocket. So now we're gonna remove the clutch and chain to get to the crankcase there. Now we're so going to open the gotta, case. Well, we got to drain the oil out of it. Drain the oil out of it. Just so everybody knows, any of these modifications will void the factory warranty. We originally talked about waiting the 90 days to do these modifications, but then we decided uh, to wait three days. Little American persuasion. Just a little bit of a negotiation. It was caught on that shield. Oh, we took the camshaft Ooh. out and we got parts falling out. Ooh! It's <laughs> not good. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> When you take the side cover off, this right here is the governor. With some uh, negotiation, it should just the rest it should just come out. out. And we don't care if we destroy that we don't wheel care. because it is the governor and governors are bad as we they know. Are. There is a spring clip down there that uh, just like the predators have and uh, you need some fine tools to get that out. It's a real pain. It's a real pain. One major thing to remember when you're removing the governor gear uh, on the inside of the crankcase there is make sure you don't punch a hole in the, the casing there because these motors were made in China and are uh, low actually grade. low grade metal. So you can put a hole in it and your engine will be ruined. Yeah, that little clip in there is giving Ike a very hard time. You have to remove the clip in order to remove that whole gear. And don't be afraid to destroy the clip. Yep, you can destroy it. That's the governor. It, it's, it was round. Don't be afraid to destroy it. Well, since we, uh, had a little bit of a problem with all our innards falling out when we took the side cover off. Ah! This will give us a good opportunity to get a good look at the upper end of the uh, engine. So, future reference, you should do our modifications with the engine sitting sideways and it keeps things from falling. There we go. We're gonna put this back together. I'm gonna put these in first. Now we gotta turn this engine over to get the timing marks to line up. Nice and easy like. So how tight are you gonna make those bolts like? Um, one grunt. Explain to the nice people what one grunt means. It means when you go to tighten it, you're like, eh. eh. So they do not go tight, they go snug. She's uh, reassembled. And just to make sure that we got these hooked up right, look how loose that is. We're gonna, look at that. She's working right. 
we got synthetic oil. Well, it's really left over from another oil change, but we have synthetic oil because it adds, what, 50% more horsepower? Absolutely. At least, at least 50% horsepower. It's not a part of the yes, it is, it is important not to uh, talk on uh, cellular phones while uh, balls deep in a uh, project. So well, we could free up some more power by taking half the uh, fan blades off the fan. We decided not to because we don't really have uh, the necessarily the necessary tools to make it worth our time. Right um, now. Right Maybe now. Later. Maybe later. Um, it would free up top end power, which uh, is kind of the opposite of what we're looking for. I mean, all power is good power, but we really need low end power right now. We don't know how much oil it uses, so we're just going to fill it up until it starts coming out. Because that's what you're supposed to do. Let's see if she starts. Um, after we remove the governor, it isn't running quite right. So... Ike thinks it's fuel related, but we will see. Stay tuned. It runs fine at idle, but when you go wide open throttle with it, it really doesn't like it. It spits and sputters. So what we're gonna do is... We're gonna start the backtrack and check everything out. So what happened, Ike? Well, the uh, gasket that goes in between the uh, the breather and the carburetor, it fell off during this assembly, and I thought I put it on right. It uh, only goes on one way correctly. As you can tell, good now. What did she do? 30. 30? Yeah. Wow. 30 on the speedometer? Yeah. Wow. We're modifying the stiff throttle because uh, John here is a and he can't handle can't handle twisting the throttle. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Fingers. This spring was the culprit. It made twisting the throttle cable way too difficult. We recommend everyone with this bike remove the spring because it's a free mod and it makes riding this bike much more comfortable. Now, after we're happy with the throttle. We are going to uh, remove the fuel tank, get down to the head, remove the head, and see if we can cut her down some, increase the compression, make more power. How did we go about doing this? With a belt sander, of course. What you doing, Ag? Taking the head bolts out, man. To get to the head. And there she blows the piston. Top dead center. Is that it? Thing is weak. So there's our head, and we are going to make this surface flat with this surface. Or we are going to attempt to anyway. They haven't figured this out yet, but I'm immortal now. Bert's a bounce. Cleanliness is key. You don't want none of this stuff entering your engine and trashing it, so cleaning it out. What we've done is we have cut her down until we started to lose one of the cooling fins. That's how uh, how much we took off of it. We probably took five or six millimeters off of this. And uh, <laughs> hopefully we won't have any real problems. Yeah! More issue that I just came across. We ground so much off the uh, head 
the dowel pins are now too tall to go between the block and here. So I'm gonna have to grind off some of this uh, dowel pin so it'll fit. Since we shaved the head so much, it's almost like putting longer push rods in. So we have to back these nuts out a whole lot to get clearance. We've got her bolted up and it's time to try to start it. come to the conclusion that uh, this is a lost cause. It was a great project while we, uh, while we were doing it. <laughs> but it's time for... A predator. Get to the chopper! Get to the chopper! Get to the harbor freight because we Get need the, the predator chopper. now! So what do you think? Gun? We need to remove the governator now! It's removed! And the head is shaved, and we have the intake exhaust and carb jet. We did all it that. It is still slow. Why? Because it's a two and a half horse engine. If it bleeds, we can kill it. It bleeds. Nas until we kill it. I don't think you can kill it with Nas. Leaf blower supercharger until we kill it. If it bleeds, we I can eat think. it. I don't think a leaf blower supercharger is going to help it. Boost until we kill it. I don't think you can do that either. 100 octane fuel until we kill it. Don't think that'll happen either. The next day, we were able to really open it up and confirm our suspicions that shaving the head really didn't help the bike's performance. So we decided that the only worthwhile mods to do on this would be to remove the governor, um, jet the carburetor, and make the exhaust. The exhaust sounds cool and it looks cool. Uh, we're not really sure how much power it adds. Uh, it's pretty minimal. But the governor is the best thing to do to remove because it doesn't affect drivability or starting or anything and it gives you more speed. So thanks for watching. Uh, it's been an honor to serve with you uh, on this uh, series of videos and we'll see you in the next one. No video is complete without a burnout. verify the name of the cars and cameras. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Alright. I'll try to get it right. Cars and carts. It's in town. I get it there. Anyhow. I know. I got you. Alright. Today on Cars and Carts. Holy <laughs> sh**. You did that on purpose, didn't you? Oh, sh**. Alright. <laughs> 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 <laughs>